Since 1954, Terrebonne General has been a beacon of health and hope in our community. As we mark seven decades of dedication to your well-being, Terrebonne General Health System remains committed to advancing health care, improving lives, and expanding our services to meet your evolving needs. In celebrating our past, we look forward to a future filled with promise and progress. Your health is our legacy. To discover more, visit TGHealthSystem.com. Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time. I'm your host, Keith Weissight, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it. And, you know, we've got a lot of wonderful people in our community that do some outstanding things. Some of those people actually get identified, awarded, and honored. And when it comes to those that are teaching our kids, that's when it's really, really special. We welcome to the program Dr. Decina Rodriguez. Thank you Hi. for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. You are more than welcome. Of course, Lockport Middle School principal. Correct. And I know you've worked your way to principal, but before we got to that point, tell us a little bit about you, a little bit about uh, where you grew up, where you're from, and where you went to school. Well, um, I am a very proud graduate of Central Lafouche High School. Yes, ma'am. And uh, after high school, I went to Nichols State University to major in education. Um, I did my master's degree there as well. And I, and I knew at, at some point I was a teacher. I wanted to be a teacher. I loved it. Um, and I knew that I wanted to be in administration very mm -hmm. early on. So I went back um, at Nichols State to do my master's in administration. Okay. I continued teaching and um, was able to get afterwards a job at Lockport Upper Elementary as an assistant principal. Uh, that's where I started my administrative career. It okay. was such a wonderful place, a great experience that I said, I, I want to go further. So uh, I applied to the University of New Orleans and I received a uh, my PhD, which is in educational administration. Okay. Uh, and once I finished that, I continued being an assistant principal for a while until um, the next step came about, which was becoming the principal of Lockport Lower Elementary, which is still near and dear to my heart. Uh, and then Lockport Middle School came about and I said, I think I want to go for this. I mm -hmm. think I really uh, want this challenge. It will be different, but it will be great and fun. And so I applied and got it. So wow. um, I'm very happy to be here. Going from elementary to middle school was different, but extremely exciting and yeah. fun. So I got to ask you the the hours that you spent in the Polk Building on campus at Nichols <laughs> State University. So many. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, my degree is in psychology, but it was under the umbrella of education. So I spent a lot of hours in Polk, but you not spent not only spent a lot of hours at Polk at Nichols, you went back and got your master's Correct. and then went back and got your doctorate. Right. It seems like you've had this thirst for learning. Absolutely. Oh, I, I love being um, I loved being a student. So a lot of that in me is what I like to bring to the schools that I work at. I want our students to love to be a student and to, to strive for learning and become a lifelong learner. So um, it has been really great to have so many opportunities around here to to get a good education mm -hmm. uh, and I feel like I've experienced several of them which has yeah. been great was there anybody along the way I know graduating from Central but anybody along the way that just kind of stuck out that was one of those teachers that really inspired you to want to become a teacher I remember um, I remember second grade Okay. Really standing wow. out to me. Seven years old, uh, second grade stood a, out. A lot okay. of my elementary years, I went to Bayou Blue Elementary. Okay. And, what a great area, um, by the way. It was just such an amazing experience. Uh, I remember just looking up to my teacher and looking up to so many of my teachers and then moving on and, and just recognizing that I had the ability when I became a teacher those years ago to provide those experiences that I had for the children of today. So it was a lot of, I want them to feel what I felt. And, and it's remarkable that you remember that. At Absolutely. seven years old, that impact. Right? Absolutely. Got that love of reading then. <laughs> Definitely. Right? So were you one of those people that read during the summers? I did <laughs> during the summers. And I do still read whenever I have time. It's something that, um, you know, you never want to let go of. Right. And, and no matter what fashion, because, you know, a lot of kids nowadays, kind of interesting, uh, they say, oh, I don't really read books. Well, you know what? It's okay. 
however you learn e-learning is one of those things that's really good as well learning you can continue to read in lots of different ways and opportunities now but so very different for you and i when, when books were the thing right and you wanted to read as many books as you could under the summer yes yes and i feel like a a love for reading has um led me into a world of research not oh, just okay. reading um, storybooks, but just researching. And I feel like that's something that I've become as an adult and as a leader, uh, everything is about researching for me and trying to learn on, on new things and innovative ideas and uh, practices that I can use to better what I do, which is, is lead a school. Yeah. Was there any uh, focus either early on or through your master's that focused on either uh, lower or, or higher education yes or as an emphasis absolutely i was okay. always an elementary person okay, okay. i always was I, I started out as an elementary teacher the majority of my administrative career is in elementary mm -hmm. which was why it was different for me to say i'm going to go to middle school right. um, but i feel like i took that with me yeah. And it just made me see things from a different perspective. So when I got to middle school and I love it, I, I think I'm going to stay in middle school area. Um, but the elementary background and the foundations Foundation. that I've learned yeah. as a leader in these areas and the, even as a teacher 20, 25 years ago, right. uh, I take with me to well, this day. It's obviously I resonated well because I'm very, very excited. As you know, you are the Lockport Middle School Principal of the Year Correct. for Lafouche Parish. Correct. And you have been named the Middle School Principal of the Year for the 2025 for Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Correct. So Louisiana. congratulations. And there's <laughs> there's a you. shot right there of that. So very, very excited for you. Uh, and more importantly, I want to talk a little bit. We'll take a short break. But when we come back, I want to talk about finding out about that award, finding out about how that's going, and maybe some vision that you have for the children as we move forward. Absolutely. All right. We'll Thank take a short you. break. Guys, you do that with us. We're going to talk short, take a short break. But we'll be right back right here on Bayou Time. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Today's social media segment is brought to you by South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer, attorneys at law. Terrebon Ford, built Ford Tough. Hello and welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time. Again, your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us, however you may be joining us. So we're talking to not only the Lafouche Middle School Principal of the Year, but the state Middle School Principal of the Year, Dr. Desena Rodriguez. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And so it's really, really interesting. You talked about the basis and the foundation that you've gotten there in elementary education mm -hmm. and how moving to middle school. Is there one big change? Is there one big thing there between the two? Definitely, I would say it is... Um the amount of independence for students when they wow. leave the elementary area and then move into the middle school grades, there is more of an independence. But um, I am very, um, I'm, I'm I'm very protective, I should okay. say. Okay. And so uh, what I do is that elementary mindset. Uh, I understand that they're middle schoolers mm -hmm. and there's a little bit more freedom, but we monitor very closely. And I think that's one of the biggest things that for the students to be able to adjust to the amount of independence in middle school and compared to uh, what they've experienced in elementary, that's a that's a pretty big thing for them. I want to make the transition as comfortable and productive for them as possible. Well, it's pretty obvious as principal, people are identifying and realizing that you're doing that very, very <laughs> Thank well. You. Uh, and it's it's like our children, right? It's a hard balance between wanting to do for them and then wanting them to be able to do for themselves. And so you've obviously found that balance in helping your curriculum and helping your teachers uh, do that. Let's talk about the relationship with them and, and how excited maybe they are for you for this award. 
They were so <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Uh, they actually, um, th actually, before the announcement, which was last Saturday night, the, mm -hmm. the Thursday before, uh, they created a, a, a time where they all got together for me and they made signs wishing me well and, and sending me off, they called mm -hmm. it. Okay. Um, and I just thought, wow, that was so touching to me mm -hmm. that they would actually take their time in the evening to do right. this. Um, I think I, I want them to realize uh, the, the magnitude of what they have done uh, as teachers and staff of our school, uh, they really make things go round and, and provide opportunities for our kids to learn and to grow. Uh, they are a huge part of, of why I'm sitting here today. So uh, for them to be cheering me on, and I know they were, um, it, it meant so much to me. And uh, I feel like this is definitely a team win for our school right. uh, being named the Louisiana Middle School Principal of the Year because it, it highlights their great work as well. Right. Uh, typical of a great leader sharing that, uh, even despite the fact that uh, that goes to you. So, Jay, put the picture up one more time. Uh, the excitement, I can tell here in the picture as you were uh, given this award. Uh, tell us the people that are here uh, in that so with you. So, these people... Um, this is Miss Ann Hodson. She mm -hmm. is the elementary director. But mm -hmm. remember, I'm from elementary. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, so she, I've been with her. I spent 10 years with her as her assistant principal while she wow. was principal. Okay. And then she became my uh, my boss again, right. my colleague. And now she's just a great friend and, and definitely a mentor. And right. uh, Mr. Kenny Delcom, he okay. is the secondary director of LaFouche Parish, uh, who has been phenomenal in supporting me. Right. And, and everything that I've done with the big elementary to middle school switch. <laughs> with the big change. Thank you, Jay. We appreciate that. All right. So tell me about how you found out. I know that the, the, you know they were wishing you well, everybody at the school excited and uh, doing those posters and, and making uh, <laughs> billboards for you. Uh, tell me about, was it a phone call? Was it an email? How, tell me Actually, that went. it was a gala okay. that we had at the uh, World War II Museum in New oh, Orleans. that's right. That's so right. the Louisiana State Department of Education, as right. well as Dream Teachers, put on this amazing gala for us. Right. Uh, and there, all the finalists and semi-finalists from there. Teacher of the Year, Principal of the Year, New Teacher of the Year, and so on, we were all there, and that's where they made the big announcement okay. to let us know who the winners were. And, and, and so, quite frankly, it's got to be awfully exciting to be amongst all of your colleagues across the state, right, to be able to see that and, and really kind of to be honored. And then to get both of those things, it's not just in Lafouche, but for the state. So that's got to be awfully exciting for you and for uh, the school. It really was. Um, uh, that day was was just amazing. I'm going to take it with me for a very long time, um, forever, basically. Uh, and when when I got to the gala and I was able to see these people now that um, I knew they were finalists with me, but you know we didn't necessarily know each other mm -hmm. because they're from all over the state. Right. So I was able to actually meet them. I knew things about them. I knew they were tremendous leaders, um, but to be able to finally meet so many of them and talk right. to them was very, very special for me. Uh, and that night, I, I can't replace that excitement was just, mm -hmm. uh, it was very overwhelming. Well, what a great venue. And again, there are some other uh, recipients and uh, people that have won uh, awards. Uh, I mean, again, just the not knowing. I love that you have a gala, right? <laughs> yeah. And then you have some of the other people as well uh, on stage. Right. So uh, those are representatives. Uh, the man is from Dream Teachers. And okay. the, the lady who's with me was actually last year's Louisiana teacher, oh, wow. uh, Louisiana Principal of the Year, excuse right. me. Right. And gotcha. uh, they presented the, the award to us, but not mm. knowing was one of the biggest things that the entire day I was just, um, I usually keep it together, that the entire day I was just very nervous and I felt this pressure of, mm. not that anybody put pressure on me, I put pressure on myself. <laughs> right. um, I felt this pressure. And so when it came down to the actual announcement and they said my name, I, I don't remember getting up. Yeah. <laughs> 
course but not. But I did because I right. saw pictures yeah, of it. <laughs> well, you know you were there. Uh, well, it's quite obvious that the learning that you took and the passion that was driven in you at age seven for the love of learning and reading has certainly translated very well to great leadership as a teacher and now as a principal of both uh, the uh, younger kids and now with middle school. Congratulations for both awards. Uh, you make our area very, very proud. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys, and that'll do it for this particular segment, but don't go anywhere. A whole lot more by you, Tom, when we continue. Today's social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights.